Welcome to the Engineerable channel. Today I'm going to be answering the question, how legit is Genduo? First, I want to say that this is not a pyramid scheme. Second, I have no affiliation with Genduo. I was initially concerned about ordering any products from them because I have read some negative stuff about them on Reddit and Gel Blaster forums. I decided to give them a try with the fake Gel Blaster, which I call the Scourge, to compare it to the real thing. Check that out in my other video. This was shipping from the US warehouse and arrived pretty fast, so I wasn't as concerned about this purchase. The next thing I purchased was a SKD STD M1911 gearbox. This is the same gearbox that the original Gel Blaster Surge uses. So this can be used as a replacement for the Gel Blaster Surge and several other pistol style gel blasters because they use the common parts. I purchased that through Zenduo AliExpress page because it wasn't available on their site at the time and it took a few weeks to arrive. But it got here and it's exactly what I ordered. Watch my other video where I use this to replace the gearbox in a Gel Blaster Surge that has broken gears or a broken motor. The most recent purchase I made was a bunch of Gel Blaster parts, things that I cannot get in the US. I used a Cash App card to avoid any chances of stolen credit card since I can set a spend limit on it. The items I purchased arrived within a few weeks. Here you can see that they shipped with a different shipping label from China. They arrived in the US to some distribution center and then they were relabeled. And you can see the list of items on here in the customs declaration. I've chatted with Zenduo's customer service many times when asking questions about parts. They use Facebook Messenger for communication and are generally knowledgeable about what they sell and have answered many Gel Blaster part questions. I ordered these metal gears sold for the JMX2 Glock. Because they are the same as used in the SKD M1911 pistol, which is also the same that's used in the Gel Blaster Surge and more pistol sized blasters. These are the gears that arrived and looks like some little shims arrived too. Although these gears are metal gears, they're probably centered because they're very inexpensive and centered gears are not as strong as CNC gears. But I'm going to be using these to replace the gears inside of a Gel Blaster Surge and see how that works to see if you can fix a Gel Blaster Surge with metal gears. And if so, they'll be a cheap fix. I hope they'll also work in the Splatterball SRB375 because lots of people ask me about repairing the stripped gears in the SRB375 and I know that it uses a pistol style gearbox inside of it. This is a hop up that I plan to test on the Splatterball SRB400 and 1200. It is a rebranded Riser V2 hop-up. In this case, the brand is U-Band Hop-Up Master. The Riser V2 hop-up is consistently recommended as one of the best hop-ups by Gel Blaster aficionados. If it works well, I'll be getting more and show you how to install it on other blasters. Watch my other videos where I add this to the Spiderball SRB 400, 1200, and some other blasters and see how it works. This is the Alpha King AK-74M AK-105 cylinder head with nozzle, which is supposed to be the same dimensions as used in the Wells G36C, and therefore should work with the Splatterball SRB 400 and 1200 blasters. It has an extra long nozzle, unlike most gel blasters. And unlike the Splatterball nozzles, this one actually has O-rings on the inside. There you can see the O-rings. And those O-rings help seal the air from coming out through this passageway here. The stock spider wall nozzle does not have any O-rings and I'm certain that air leaks out there, which is an FPS loss. So I'm gonna be using the cylinder head and nozzle when I do the metal gearbox conversion on the spider ball. This is a spider ball gearbox and this is the nozzle. And you can see that these nozzles look like they're exactly the same length. So hopefully that should work. This is a metal cylinder head that's sold for the Jingji SLR and it has a pretty short nozzle on it. And I'm hoping that I can use this one for the unlocks modification. When I replace the unlocks gel blaster gearbox with a metal style gearbox from a V2 airsoft style gearbox, and I'll use a cylinder head and nozzle with that mod. Side by side comparison, it looks like these nozzles are the same length. So this nozzle also has some O-rings inside to help seal it better. And the last items I ordered from Genduo are these infamous green O-rings. These are the piston O-rings that are supposed to seal better than the stock O-rings. I've also found some stock O-rings here that can be purchased from McMaster 
that work well, or you can also buy them from eBay and other places. These are flora elastomer O-rings, and Viton is a type of flora elastomer. So overall, I've been quite pleased with my orders from Genduo. They've shipped everything that I've ordered. I've placed three separate orders, no issues there. I mean, they do sell a fake knockoff gel blaster surge, so it's not really nice to copy other designs, but I only purchased this thing to compare it to the original gel blaster and see what the difference was. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned if you wanna see these mods that I talked about that I'm gonna be doing later with some of the other gel blasters and how to repair gears and especially adding the hop up. That's gonna be really interesting to watch. Stay tuned and see you next time.